Is it good? <laughs> okay. So Jess came to visit our office. Oh god. Is this going to be cringe? This is going to be cringe as hell, isn't it? By me, more than likely. This is going to be really cringe. Hey, hey you. You're finally awake. Okay, so we let Jess and the camera crew from uh, Scan play in our office. <laughs> oh, I like her. I like her too. Uh, and we didn't. I don't know what she filmed. I have an idea of what they were doing, but we basically let them play in the office for a bit. <sighs> Here we go. We're on the quest for the quack. Come on, pretty sure it's this way. Oh, you started Keep downstairs. Down. Oh, you did a little map. Ah, shot. Good job, Jess. The quest for the que. Ah, it's locked. Well, I never said it was going to be easy. Come on, give it a go. <laughs> ah, great job. I knew you had it in you. Oh, an army of quares! This is what you use my green screen for. Note how loud Jess rattled the door handle and I had to pretend that I couldn't hear it. <laughs> she was super stealth. <laughs> Pretty sure it's through here. It's locked. Hmm. But he'll have a key though. That's nice artwork you did for the things. Where did you get that picture from? Where did you guys get that? That's Chris, isn't it? Yeah, that is Chris. Okay. That is not my passport photo, no. Kind of well. Jess! Hey. Yes! Hey! Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. Don't worry about it. Why are you on my floor? I... We came through the back entrance. Okay, you get, like you do. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Thank Welcome you. To yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I'm so glad you're finally here. So, uh, will you show me around a little bit? Absolutely. Hold Brilliant. this. We're Thank floor you. inspecting. Suspense. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Say clean PC games. There, yeah, I got all your stuff in there. Cool. So, show me around a little bit. I'm interested in your setup because this is where all the magic happens. This is the stream room. This is the only stream room we have right now. There is going to be more because we have a lot of our uh, fellow content creators who want to come into the studio and not only film stuff, which we'll show in a second because mm -hmm. we have a studio set up now, uh, but they want to be able to stream in here. So, this is how I do it. 
Um, it's pretty standard now for a lot of streamers is the two PC setup. So three monitors. It is you, Woden. You're in there. We have, uh, really good camera there. And then I, you can see there's two mice that come with this on these custom PG mouse mats. Oh. Yeah, very nice. Play cards, right? You can have one. Uh, but yes, this is actually the brains of the operation. So we've got the PCs that Scan provided for us, the 3XS yeah. systems. This is what I game on. Uh, all custom with custom etching and custom graphics. Over here is actually what runs the stream. Right, okay. So you have a dual PC setup mm -hmm. because a stream PC does all the, the encoding and everything like that, and then your gaming PC handles Absolutely. It? So a real big mm -hmm. issue when you're streaming is, and this is why we got the 3XS systems, yep. if you get FPS slowdown or something like that, the entire viewer experience is ruined. Mm -hmm. And they'll start complaining because the initial feedback when that happens... It's true, you guys moan all the time. Stream. Yep. They don't... There's no accommodation for like the game is running badly unless it's known in the community the game has problems. Mm -hmm. So you can't afford that. So typically we used to do this with capture cards, but now we do it through a network uh, called NDI, which actually sends it all the way to here. And we're going to a different room in a minute because not only do we record all our streams locally on here, so if anything ever happens, we have a backup. Oh, wow. Because we make a lot of YouTube content as well, there's another machine, <laughs> which you guys also provided, okay. uh, which records everything from a clean feed with no camera, pure game audio and all that. And our editors then have a full Different size monitor. Stream. Actually, that's the wow. in crystal that's clear quality. That's the uh, different monitor that runs the stream. so many things in games. Look, that's a different monitor that runs the stream and it's really far away from me. So I have that, that's a big screen. My monitors are here are all the same. Because everybody knows that Besides the middle randomly, <laughs> And you wish to it's, it's a crisp symmetrical really set tools out there to do that that like nvidia provide but having the full clean thing with the setup is really important to us because we might that's not copium they're, they're identical monitors they're, they're identical, identical. Which then pays off all that later i've got and my one big gaming one and then two identical so ones on the sides videos, it's very important that you, you gotta respect the picture of me and emma ah right ah yeah. So that's our setup for there. I do have a lot of this is stuff that's not on camera. Like people, this is the only part that ever appears on camera. Is this? Yeah, uh, just outside Woden. Well, not most, but a lot of this is fan made. So a very very high level cosplayer made this for us during our World of Warcraft True. years. Uh, this that. took months to make. What, uh, what, to so what is it? it? It is a helmet from World of Warcraft for warriors. Right. It is my favorite tier set. Okay. So my favorite armor they made in the game, and someone made this completely out of the blue. It just arrived. Wow. Uh, and they spent months making this. Uh, this here actually only arrived yesterday. This is a, a 3D printed etherite from Final Fantasy XIV that uh, was made for us, I believe, in the US. And a fan sent this to us yesterday. USB powered. He showed us all the failed projects that happened with it. Uh, this was about number 10 or 12, something like that. But with, this is unique. No, one, these you can't buy these or anything like that. This was custom made for no us. No glaives. Uh, we nope. really wish that Squeenix would sell these, but they don't. Um, That's awesome. This I know you find yes. particularly interesting. Okay, so I know what it is, but mm. for other people who might not know what it is, I'm sure on camera this just looks like a hammer. Yeah. Uh, this thing is, I fucking. This thing is real. This is a proper <laughs> sledgehammer. But not only that, it was completely fashioned by a blacksmith. From scratch, uh, you can see it's all Amazing. etched in with our logo. This is real gold that's in this. Uh, this was all like hard welded in. This is real buffalo skin and fur. This whole thing is very real, and it was made by a one of our fans. Or again, over a period of months, uh, just as a thank you uh, for getting them through some really tough times. It scares me to death that hammer. Where we kind of end of the week on a smile is the mm -hmm. idea uh, with silly stories. But Chris tried to pretend to work. Brilliant. So that's wonderful. But I do love this. <laughs> this is said to be by Blizzard. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little model. I don't know if the camera can capture that. It's a, a little model of my character from World of Warcraft. But look at the name. Preach Smash. Preach Smash. I love it. You don't, because <laughs> this character was named Preach Smash for a grand total of seven days in the 10 year history I had this character. It was called Preach, which is my online tag. I moved it. Well, Blizzard sent me a message saying, what's your favorite character that you have? Right. Out of the blue. And I was like, oh, my warrior. I love this character. That's why I've got the helmet and things like that. And then a few months later, this arrived. And it was only under this stupid name for seven oh days in 10 years. Uh, but it's not that bad. Look, it's off center. Oh. That I hate it's off center. Are you all mad? 
You should be. I did wonder if it was like solid in there or if it. I've never opened. About. I hate that it's off center. It kills very me. Very nice. It's very cool. Very cool. Uh, this is cool over here that we have these paintings you're seeing here. These plates. These are all custom made by our in-house artist uh, that made these. Uh, so we're really, really proud of them. We have a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, this is the stream room. But let's let's go on. So every year, or we did do until the pandemic. We run a live show where we invite some of the biggest content creators. Get your tickets this weekend. Our space, like we're friends with. We invite them down along with a lot of fans. And we put on a stage show mm -hmm. uh, that goes along with that. So this is what this is here. These are all the years. We get everybody to sign it every single year. We make a big collage and they're all themed. Uh, we do have one coming this year. Uh, so really looking forward to that. Uh, these are meet and greets I've done for Blizzard. Um, which most of you will know who Blizzard are. So these are at BlizzCon, like the YouTube specific booth. Things like that where is we've spent hours stood doing signings. That and things was amazing. Like that. This was my first ever one. I'm very proud of this one. Because uh, I surprisingly got asked by YouTube, not Blizzard, if I would be there, would oh. you do a signing? So I thought, well, what am I going to do? Sign 50 or something like that? And three and a half hours it took. Uh, they kicked us off because other people were scheduled in. You had a one hour slot. Mm -hmm. But the queue was... You had a one hour slot and <laughs> we you had, had a one hour three slot. hours? Well, they asked me how many people do you think would... Oh, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know, a couple of hundred maybe, you know, so something would be like 20 minutes. Uh, and the, the queue when I finished the first hour was round everything. Wow. Um, it's not an ego thing. I was just like, what is happening? So we moved round the back to the seating area and said, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. We'll stand here. And three and a half hours it took in total. Uh, so I was very, really proud of that. Did a lot of charity stuff with it as well, which was cool. Um, awesome. My wife's desk, always a mess. <laughs> always a mess. Uh, this, uh, true, this true, true. Our, uh, admin and financials and things like that. So mm -hmm. the, the, the trust level is there. She can handle the money and I don't have to worry about it and things like that. Uh, but in here is our main office for the guys. This is Chris. Hi. Hello. Chris is our master editor, graphics man, artist. You built the, you painted those plates in there. Indeed, yeah. yes. Done some tremendous work for us and edits all our videos together. Over here is our other employee, Mike, uh, who's not here right now, uh, but he's also not here right now. Access system that Scan provided for us. Uh, uh, Mike, sorry to say your desk currently ho holds everybody else's computers <laughs> <laughs> and boxes and spare plugs. Um, and his <laughs> job is our dealings with sponsors. <laughs> sorry, so, Mike. This, speaking to you guys, mm -hmm. that's Mike. We come through here. We actually have another half of the building. A dedicated, created space. So this room is as open Oh plan. shit, Chris, look how different this room is. And this was only like a month ago. Holy fuck. This is weird. As we could possibly get it because it's designed for sets that can be put up, taken down, and do all that kind of stuff. What's so different now? Jess, this looks nothing like so this anymore. The sets that are going here, we're building Like nothing like this at all. Interview area <laughs> is going to be a couple of months project mm -hmm. to get us there. Right here is our little control. What? Yeah, I'll show you in a minute, Jess. Yeah, yeah. Stuff we do here, which is again provided by Scan. So thank you very much. I'll uh, show you in a minute, but yeah, it looks nothing like this Over anymore. here is a weekly live show that we do with multiple um, we will be. staff and guests. So it's a very simple setup, couch uh, and a TV to monitor chat and things like that. But it's more of a podcast style thing, mm -hmm. although it is, does a video. Over here is one of the things we were after for years, and I see that uh, it's all been set up. <laughs> you guys have been oh, here. Oh, convenient. I wonder why. <laughs> I know you guys have been filming here, but this is something we wanted for ages, because I'm, when we're filming and stuff, I'm very, I like to move around, I, I need some space. Yep. Uh, and I think it's Top tier, like yes, really is top tier. Shows, especially when we're making videos that are highly edited, which is why Chris is here. Mm -hmm. So we spent a long time making this right. So it's also a VR area. As you see, we've got the VR up in the corner, so we can do some immersive VR and things like that, and tons of lights that we put up ourselves to try and make it work. It's echoey. We'll get there. Which we yeah, fixed now. I mean, we fixed the echo. Once you things in, I think it'll start padding things out right. a little bit more. Oh, we fixed it. You have to do some sort of VR stream with the... Uh... Well, the next... We're doing a VR stream uh, like a couple of weeks uh, that are coming up, but our next project, which involves this, is actually going to be... We're hosting an eSports event. Um, right, okay. So this which whole area is going to be converted. This is why this area is like this. It's Spoilers. It's movable. Spoilers. It's going to be Shut hosting, because I do some casting for Race to World First, which you'll know about for... Uh, World of Warcraft mm -hmm. is we're going to be casting an esports tournament from here. So this will be an esports area. And the idea is I can walk off 
of, of, from over there where the casting desk will be with the headset, walk onto here and interview people in game. So what we can do is put a camera in game, oh, which I'll should have, have brought that up, I suppose, because obviously people would be from around the world. Yeah. And I'll be able to, if you were an NPC in the game or a should have brought that up, I'll be able to interview you there, and we'll hear your audio from Discord or something. That's like that. amazing. Fuck yeah. Then I can yeah. walk back onto the studio. So yeah. having this all set up here is that's what it's for. Spoilers. Yeah, I can use it for anything. Right? So that's 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 one so of the spoilers. All right, one spoiler. That's, kind of fine. that's mm -hmm. fine. That's fine. That's fine. This room is so much more fun. It's a lot of potential. Yeah, we just mess around in here all the time. Like the stuff we've done in here already is crazy. I've been falling through space, and <laughs> I, you know, lay on a table, bending my back, and doing all this kind of stuff, and mobile cameras. But that's you heard nothing. Yeah, 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 you heard nothing. Stays we've got Any NDAs? Wicked. Well, thank you very much for showing me around. Um, kind of sad that we didn't get the queer. Wait, I mean, not it's the queer. It's precious. That yeah. thing has traveled the world. I definitely point. wasn't trying to get the queer or anything like that. <laughs> no, I can no, see the all. lust in your eyes for it. Uh, this is for Scan, because we, uh, we're working with Scan. They provide a lot of the hardware for us. Uh, I'll, right, I'll show you the difference quickly, Jess. In fact, we tidied it up yesterday, which is pretty good. Are we, are we on? on? Yeah, we're on. All right, hold on. Hold on. <coughs> uh, I've, I've nicely tidied this up, so it's not too bad. The light's on. Oh. All right, so the couch and stuff is still here, but now we have the fireplace set. It's very nice. I'm promised that it's nearly finished. Uh, we now have the logo up, which we did for the PC build. This is actually the caster's desk. I'm not going to show you what's on the front of that. Uh, but this is what me and Chris built yesterday, which has now got a slot in it where a TV is going to go for stuff like that. We've got our new PC, which scan provides the Uber trolley. Is it plugged in? It's not. That's the Uber trolley that I built. Uh, but yeah, this is the big one. <laughs> it's the fireplace and echo cancellation. Yeah, baby. And these are all mobile. So we can push them around. They're all on wheels. So we've got six of these. As you can see, three here, three over there. And when we're building a set like we did yesterday, what we can do, and you guys couldn't see this, but to make sure the sound is better, is we can put walls up. So we can use, we've got six of these walls. There's another three over there. Uh, that actually chop off the space into different areas and get rid of all these sound problems that happen. So yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot happening in here these days, but we're getting ready for that big, well, for our PVP tournament, which I hope you guys really like, which is coming. So that's what's been going on the last month or so. <coughs> Build a wall, noted. Build a wall and get it done. <laughs> Got to wall it off. Got to do it.